Hey everybody, it's Dan Sims with Success by Day again, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a passage from uh, Paradise Lost by John Milton. So there are actually two things in Paradise Lost that I wanted to mention. Uh, because this first passage, uh, Satan is talking to Eve, and he hands her a piece of fruit and, and tells her in Book 5, he says, Taste this, and be henceforth among the gods, thyself a goddess not to earth confined, but sometimes in the air, as we sometimes ascend to heaven by merit thine, and see what life the gods live there, and such live thou. And the other passage uh, I'm not going to read from, but it's, uh, Raphael talking to, Raphael is the great lecturer in Paradise Lost, he's talking to Adam and, and telling him that consuming um, knowledge and books, which is a, um, an argument in Areopagitica, a piece of prose that Milton also wrote, consuming knowledge and books ascend, is, uh, a lets, you, lets you transcend your human limitations and um, let you move into the realm of godliness. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because, um, I mean, in Areopagitica and Paradise Lost, Milton talks about cons consumption not only of um, food and fruit, in, in Satan's case, but, but of books and knowledge as well. And the consumption of books and knowledge in Paradise Lost uh, is the one thing that lets you transcend uh, human limitations and ascend into godliness. Uh, and I, I wanted to bring this up today because I have been reading um, a book every single week for the past couple months. And I believe that those books have been able to help me transcend my previous limitations. I've learned so much from those books because they're written by people who have had experiences that I will never have. Um, I mean, I've read things from people on Wall Street, uh, financial advisors, investors, uh, entrepreneurs, and, and there's no way for you to have all of the experiences that these other people have had and have captured in their books but there is. You can consume those books. You can read and consume that knowledge and maybe not tr transcend uh, your human limitations, but certainly transcend your individual limitations. Uh, to have those experiences behind you experiences the best uh, teacher. And to have those experiences behind you is a huge advantage. I've noticed that reading has become less and less popular, but I think that we really need to start reading more and more books, especially books that help us become the person that we want to become. Because I listened to a TED talk recently about someone who mentioned that that mentors are the best way to learn what you want to do and to become what you want to do because they not only teach you from their experience, but they help you to have the experiences that you need to have to get where you want to go. And the best mentors in a lot of ways are books because if you can read a book and and instantly take all of those experiences that that person has ever had, that's huge. So that's your success by day for today. Consume books, consume knowledge, acquire all of the knowledge and experience that you can from these sources that are sometimes free. You know, as long as you're using it uh, to your advantage, a $5 book, an $8 book is, is a small investment for what you get out of it. That's your success by day for today. I hope that was helpful and uh, I will see you next time.